Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome Wide Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon. In this video, we will learn that how to construct the phylogenetic tree to explore the relationship of our selected gene family members with the other plant species. There are various softwares and online tools are used for constructing the phylogenetic tree. But the most used one is Mega. There are various versions of Mega is available like 5, 6, 7 and the latest one is Mega X that used for constructing the phylogenetic tree. For making a phylogenetic tree, we need the protein sequences of gene family of the plant species on which we are working. For example, in our case, we are working on HSP70 protein in tomato. So we take the protein sequences of HSP70 from the tomato genome. Other is the protein sequences of the gene family from the mother plant that is Rabidopsis thaliana and the characteroid protein sequences of the gene family from plant species. It means that there are various researchers that working on HSP70 protein they have characterized some specific genes and determined their function. So we will also try to find that gene and their sequences. That sequences we can find from the different literature. So how we do this I mean how to extract the protein sequences of, of our family, protein sequences of, uh, from the model plant and the gene from the characterized gene from the different plant species. So we will do it one by one. First you open the folder on which you are keeping your file of this work. Then make a subfolder named phylogenetic tree. Open it and make a text file and write protein six for fellow genetic tree open it then open the file from where we have saved our SLHSP70 renamed sequences select all copy and paste it in the newly made file for fellow genetic Okay. Now we need the HSP70 protein sequences from the model plant that is Arabidopsis. For this purpose we will repeat the process that we have done for the HSP70 in tomato. Uh, open your query sequence, copy, go to Google, type catalog, open now select the Robidopsis thaliana tear 10 block space proteome and go now select all add to chart then view In view part, you see all these aspects of Rabidopsis thaliana. So you will select one by one and select only that have transcript this one point one and discard this point two. No need to select that point two because some transcripts have some genes have two transcripts. So you can 
point or black only one. After selecting the one transcript of the gene, like this here, this gene have two transcripts, one this and second one this. So we have selected this one. Another one, this gene also have two transcripts. One, two. So we have selected one. Selecting all these, then quick download peptide sequence download. Then save it into your destination folder. Rabdasya Saliana HSP 70 protein sequence and save the file. After saving, open open the file and do the same work as you have done for HSP7 from tomato like leave this long name the second in on the super land Also remove the stars, edit, replace, find what store, replace with nothing. After deleting long name, stars, and arranging the sequences, you have got the protein sequences from model from Rabdaxis Thaliana. These are around about 18. So also select all, copy, open the file uh, for protein sequence for phylogenetic tree and paste them below the usual protein sequences of tomato. Now we will try to find the sequence of the characterized HSP70 protein. For this purpose, you must have to read different literature. And the most easy way is you find or search different papers like genome-wide analysis of HSP protein in different crops. Download them and read their introduction or discussion. You will find a lot of characterized genes in their introduction and discussion section. For example, I am taking the example of this paper that genome-wide analysis and expression profiling under heat and drought treatment of HSP70 gene family in soybean. I read the introduction of this paper and try to find the characterized HSP70 protein. Now here you can here you see that the the function of these HSP70 the diverse biological function of HSP70 gene family has been well characterized in many plants. For example, in aerobidopsis, the CPHSC70-1 mutant plant exhibited defective phenotype after germinated seeds were treated with heat stress. So, here we find a CPHSC70-1 gene in aerobidopsis. So, first make a list of these genes. How you make this list? Then for this purpose, open the Excel sheet. And in first column, write the gene name and uh, that in which plant species and what is its NKBI ID or transcript ID reference that is which uh, in which paper it is published. 
and here is function so for this gene we write here cp hsp 70-1 which species one species arabidopsis sarsiana ncbi we didn't have ncbi in this here so we will find it in ncbi or in that paper where it is published so leave this blank here is reference reference is there this paper is reference to and leave to and leave 2008 and what is the function of this gene is what it has said muted plant is a bit effective phenotype for C and here is the function So let's go further. Here, ATHSP seventy dash fifteen was show up shown to play an essential role during his response. AT AT HS P seventy dash fifteen. It is also awesome. of the Haryana and its reference is John Cons Cons at all two thousand eleven. Likewise, the other one is seventy has been reported to play a role in this research. And here is in alpha alpha medical was there the MS HSP seven T dash one MS HSP seven T dash one here medical was there was and its function is Development of alpha alpha nodule. And its reference is T at all 2008. So you can find another gene like this from reading different articles. So now we will try to. Find out their transcript or CBI ID, and we, and after that we will find their protein sequences. After completing these, this list means you can find you will try to find as many genes as possible. After completing these, then you will try to find the NCBI transcript and download their protein sequences. We have already downloaded the sequence protein sequences of Arabidopsis thaliana. So we only need their NCBI or transcript ID. For this, there are two ways. One is directly we will write the name CP like this CP HSP seventy dash one in NCBI and get its information. If we didn't find that information from NCBI, then we will go to that paper. 
and try to find their NCBI auto script ID from this paper. So let's start. First open the Google write NCBI open this and let's copy write the name CPHSP last one seventy dash one seventy dash one It has shown in other, another crop or species or organism, but we need in aerograph case. So, right here, aerograph case. So, here it says that no item found. So, now the second way is to find, try to find the paper in which it is present. So uh, it gives the reference. So open that paper. See, go to the references of that paper and find that paper. Yeah. This is the this paper detail. Two and Lee. Copy the title. Go to NCBI. Open and then paste the, that title and select comment and search now open the PMC click on it and read so find, try to find the traffic ID of that gene yeah, you, when you read the abstract, so you will find here this one. See, PHSP 70 1. So, this is the transcript ID that given the name. This, uh, this ask for you it as a CPHSP 70 1. So, copy it and paste in the that column. Sometimes this information is not available in the abstract. Then you will try to find it in the materials and method section. If you also did not find it in materials and method section, then it will be provi provided in the supplementary files of that paper. Now we will try the second game ATHSP 70-70. 15 sorry. Also go to NCBI select 14 and write here mm, AT HSP 70 dash 15. Click on so here HSP 70 of Venom Abductus Taliano and this is the complete ID. Mm, so no need to go to the paper or reference paper. Now it is NSHSP 70 dash one. NSHSP 70 dash one medical of Taiwan. Medical Taiwan. So here you see the information of this gene. So it is the gene bank for NCBI ID of this protein. But we also need the sequence of this gene, protein sequence of this, this gene. So we also here first look the information of this gene. Like here you see that we do medical style and which paper cloning and preservation of this shark protein 70 is with MS HSP 70 1 in Medivago and other which in which journal it is published. 
but we need only ESP protein we can so click on pasta okay. copy and open the file where we are saving our games for phylogenetic tree First, type greater than sign mshsp 70 dash 1 and paste the sequence. Now, why we are doing this? Why we are finding these characterized sequences? Because when we do the phylogenetic analysis and our family gene, that hsp 70 in, in tomato gene which was closely related to this protein, this characterized protein, so we can easily predict the function of that gene. After finding all the genes, genes and their protein sequences, now we will try to make the phylogeny in the mega. So for that purpose, select all the sequences, copy and open the mega. Open the mega, go to align, edit build alignment, select create a new alignment. Okay, and which sequence you are using? Either DNA protein. So we are using protein sequence, so click on protein new window appears so here control V in space the sequence now we will need the alignment of the sequences so click on this W here align protein and this window comes so leave this option as it is and ok the alignment will start it will take the time depending upon the number of sequences so our alignment has done so now we need to save this alignment for saving go to data export alignment mega and save it into this navigation folder that we have made like a uh, fellow directory open this and write the file name we say hsp 70 save this window again come so write the same name and ok now open the previous window go to file open a file session and open that alignment file that we have just saved now so it is saved now go do some some analysis like go to distance compute pairwise distance here you can select the method and other option and go to compute Now open clock Tajima relative rate test. Now you can select taxon A, taxon B is from your protein family like HFP70 from tomato and out group from another species and then compute compute so here you see that the p value is 0 0.41 this p value must be greater than 0 0.05 here is also written p value less than 0 0.05 is often used to reject the null hypothesis of equal rate between lineages so our this value must be 0 0.05 greater than 0 0.05 if sometimes comes less than 0 0.05 then 
you need to change the sequences of taxon A, taxon B or of group. So change these options until you got the p value greater than 0 0.05. Now go to phylogeny and mostly use the maximum likelihood tree method or neighbor gene method. We will do the maximum likelihood tree. If you want to know that why use the maximum likelihood or neighbor gene method, so you can start it in the literature. If you still didn't find the answer, then let me know. I will try to give the answer to you and remove your confusion. First, select the maximum likelihood tree. Here, test of halogeny. Select the bootstrap method. And here is poison model. Complete deletion. And then, here you select the thousand amount of bootstrap duplicates. And Compute. Now it ask about the option that from where I take the data. So here random tree from active data. And then press the OK. So it will start to make the phylogeny tree. It will take a long time depending upon the number of sequence and amino acids. After finishing the process, you will receive this type of window in which your phylogeny is built. So we made some modification in it. So first you select this bootstrap and then go to view and here you can see it in traditional rectangular straight curve or circular. Mostly use circular. So click on circle then you will see your phylogenetic tree. So now you can divide them in different groups. You can take the help from different published papers that you will distribute this phylogenetic into how many groups. For example, in this phylogeny, we can divide it into this this is one group this one second this one third this one fourth this one fifth and this one sixth so you so we can make this six group so how you can differentiate this these groups you see when you read that related paper that different um, groups are mentioned in different color so you can edit this color in the mega or also in a, uh, in ppt so we will try to make this color full phylogenetic tree in mega how to do this how to do this for example we give a different color to this group so first click on this point from there this group is separated from other genes or other trees so click on this go to this option click and here you see line so select this one and how much width of this line so you can choose two or three and which color you want to give these lines. These are all the colors are available. For example, I am choosing this blue. 
now you also want to give the color to your jeans so go to display on the display caption and here go to font now here you can change the font of this writing jeans writing and here which a uh, regular italic board which one and how much size the size and here you can also give the name give the color to the name and okay okay so you see that the the width of these trees these lines are also become brighter and also color of these jeans but you want that uh, the color of my jean is different from the model font jean or other textile jean so for that you can here yeah, this is your jean but here is the model font jean so click on here yeah, this point from where it is separated from the other jean and go to display font and change the color you will want to give for example you want to give the black color okay yeah you want to also give this so click on that one Okay. So in this way, you can give the color to each group. Like change the color of this group. So yeah, click on here. And also you can change this option. And also uh, with and maybe I want to give the uh, olive color or maroon color okay now i also want to change this into black After editing and giving the color to each group, so you can now save it. For saving this fellow generated tree, go to image one is copy to clipboard or save as PNG, save as TIFF file, whatever you want to save in which format. Like you can if you want to save it as TIFF. So click on this. And here is HSP seventy fellow genetic three and save. Or you can also copy and open the PPT PowerPoint and paste it. Here you can also give some other modification like also write the name of the group like here yeah, if we give it group one name as group one now this one has group two Group two, uh, group three, group four, group five, group six. So you can give it, and then select all and group. So in this way, you will make the phylogenetic tree for your genome-wide study manuscript.
hopefully you have got the help from it and it will be useful for you if you have any question please let us know thank you